Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this first day of May. Let's pray. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O oh Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Psalm 139. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out your journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. That's the, that's the same one. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uppermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you created, you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in my book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there were none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. O oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God! that the bloodthirsty might depart from me. They speak against you with wicked intent. Your enemies take up your name for evil. Do I not oppose those, O Lord, who oppose you? Do I not abhor those who rise up against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. They have become my own enemies also. Search me out, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and examine my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way of wickedness in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Search me out, O oh God, and know my heart. To the glory, glory to the Father and to the Son 
and to the Holy Spirit, and anyone who was in the beginning is now and sh ever shall be. Amen. <coughs> oh dear. Creator God, may every breath we take be for your glory. May every footstep show you as, as our way, that trusting in your presence in this world, we may, beyond this life, still be with you, where you are alive and reign forever and ever. Amen. Proverbs 2. Dear friend, take my advice. It will add years to your life. I'm writing out clear directions to wisdom way. I am drawing a map to righteous road. I don't want you ending up in blind alleys or wasting time making wrong turns. Hold tight to good advice. Don't relax your grip. Guard it well. Your life is at stake. Don't take wicked bypass. Don't so much as set foot on that road. Stay clear of it. Give it a wide berth. Make a detour and be on your way. Evil people are restless unless they're making trouble. They can't get a good night's sleep unless they've made life miserable for somebody. Perversity is their food and drink. Violence, their drug of choice. The ways of right living people glow with light. The longer they live, the brighter they shine. But the road of wrongdoing gets darker and darker. Travellers can't see a thing. They fall flat on their faces. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for God's love has no end. Oh, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. Sing out and praise the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my song. God has been my saviour. Oh, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. Sing out and praise the Lord. Alleluia. Our New Testament reading is James 1. I, James, I'm a slave of God and the Master Lord Jesus. Writing to the 12 tribes scattered to kingdom come, hello. Consider it a sheer gift, friends, when tests and challenges come at you from all sides. You know that under pressure, your faith life is forced into the open and shows its true colours. So don't try to get out of anything prematurely. Let it do its work so that so you become mature and well developed, not deficient in any way. If you don't know what you're doing, pray to the Father. He loves to help. You'll get his help and won't be condescended to when you ask for it. Ask boldly, believingly, without a second thought. People who worry their prayers are like wind-whipped waves. Don't think that you're going to get anything from the master that way, adrift at sea, keeping your options open. When down and outers get a break, cheer. And when the arrogant rich are brought down to size, cheer. Prosperity is as short-lived as a wildflower, so don't ever count on it. You know that as soon as the sun rises, pouring down its scorching heat, the flower withers, its petals wilt, and before you know it, that beautiful face is a barren stem. Well, that's a picture of a prosperous life. At the very moment everyone is looking on in admiration, it fades away to nothing. Anyone who meets a testing challenge head on and manages to stick to it is mighty fortunate. For such persons loyally in love with God, the reward is life, 
and more life. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has it highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father, at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow. So, our loving Father, we thank you that you always hear our prayers. We've got so much to talk to you about. So much, so many deaths, Lord. The numbers might not be rising, but there's still too many deaths. And each one has a group of loving and caring family and friends, all grieving, all wishing that life would be different. May you surround them with your loving arms embrace them in your love. May they know your comfort and your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the government. May they know your love, may they know and experience what it is to be in love with you. May they be guided by you. May they listen to your voice. As they make these plans for our exit out of lockdown, And they understand the reality of the situation for everyone who is suffering. We pray for Matt Hancock today. May he make decisions that are loving and true and for the very best for everybody. Bless him in his work. And may he know that you have drawn close to him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for ourselves today in whatever we have planned. Guide us to your word. Some of us will be completely confined to our houses and not have anywhere to, to go and get some fresh air. <coughs> Me. Guide us in all that we do. Help us to hear with your ears as we listen to the news.
bless us and keep us really close. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty Father, whom truly to know is eternal life, teach us to know your Son, Jesus Christ, as the way, the truth, and the life, that we may follow the steps of your holy apostles, Philip and James, and walk steadfastly in the way that leads to your glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so with longing we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for joining me this morning and I hope to see you at five o'clock this evening for evening prayer. God bless you.